everyone. My name is Sophia. I'm in the Math and Business Double Degree Program. I'm in my third year at Waterloo, and I'm an active member of the Women in Math Undergraduate Committee. Thank you very much, Sophia. And hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Carmen Bruni. I am a lecturer and an advisor in the David R. Cheriton School of Computer Science. Can you uh, describe for us or talk a little bit about computer science and data science and what it's all about? Sure, absolutely. So I'm going to focus on data science today. Uh, data science really is the study of data sets. It's about trying to take existing data and make inferences. And one of the most common first examples that, that people see uh, is a spam filter. Right? With a spam filter, we get emails that we want or don't want and we want to classify them as either spam or ones that we should read. Uh, what's changed over the last number of years is not the, necessarily the field of data science, though that has changed, but the biggest change in the field has actually been the access to data. Right now, more than ever in humanity's history, we have access to like just massive data sets that we've never been able to to do in the past or to have access to in the past. And so now with all of this data, people are looking for ways to analyze it, ways to make inferences and ways to use that data to make money, right? Now we have so much of it that we wanna somehow monetize it. And that's that's really where uh, the data science element of, uh, comes into play. And this is, this is why there's been a big hullabaloo over the last uh, number of years to try to advance the field more. What do you wish students knew or would know before choosing computer science and data science as a major? Sure, absolutely. So specifically with data science, I think one of the biggest things to note is that data science really is computer science and statistics, right? I always joke to students and I say, data science is kind of like com uh, computer science and statistics having a baby. And that baby that they give birth to is data science. Uh, now. Um, if you don't like statistics, you're probably not going to like data science. There's a lot of heavy analysis and a lot of statistical work that needs to go into analyzing these data sets. Um, so I think that would be the thing that I would warn people of. Like if that's not their thing or if they don't like, you know, crunching data or, you know, if the book or the movie Moneyball doesn't excite you, then perhaps data science is not the right field to go into. Um, maybe try just either going into computer science itself or statistics itself. What do you love and what excites you about it? Um, for me, I think it's the, the opportunities, the new ways to apply all of the techniques that people's, people have been working on over the last number of years. I, I think we're only scratching the surface as to what this field is going to do and become. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing all the new different ways that we can use all the data that we have and apply these tools from data science and to try to, to better humanity in some way, shape or form. So for me, that's the, the biggest thing. It's sort of, it's not a new field, but it feels like a new field. And so there's a lot of exciting activity happening right now that hasn't happened as much in the past. Okay, so what uh, types of careers can be pursued with this major? So it's a great question. I'm going to give you a sort of bad answer. Uh, <laughs> You can be a data scientist with a data science degree. Now, you know, the, the part of that, that that's a little bit disingenuous is that being a data scientist it really doesn't matter so much as to what you're calling yourself, but it's more about where you're working. And where you're working with a data science degree, you're, you're sort of not bounded by anything, right? You can almost work in any any industry and, and, and there's going to be some um, meaningful work that you can do. The other job that's not maybe as, as coy as my previous answer of data scientist is a machine learning uh, specialist, right? So there's a lot of data science that goes into machine learning. So trying to figure out like, you know, weather patterns or stock predictions or, you know, trying to figure out which baseball players to hire, right? Going back to the money ball reference, right? So um, there's a, a lot of these opportunities that are available. Um, but realistically, when you have a data science degree, you're probably going to want to be a data scientist. The only question is where. So that sounds really great. Um, there's a lot of different careers that can be pursued. And I really like the two that you touched on. How would you say the computer science and data science degree is different from the computer science uh, single and the BMath data science and statistics? Sure. So. Here at Waterloo, we have a, two different flavors of our data science program. So we have a data science belonging to the BMath side, so the mathematical data science side, and we have a data science program belonging to the computer science side, so a BCS with a data science or in data science. Now, computer science sort of envelops uh, data science, right? So computer science includes data science, includes artificial intelligence processing, includes you know, information security analysts, graphics designers, all those other things, right? So graphics, or so computer science is a much bigger umbrella term. 
And data science is a small pocket of what I would consider computer science to be. Data science is sort of like mixing computer science and statistics. And for that reason, we actually do have these two different flavors, one from the statistical side, that's the BMATH version, and one from the computer science side, that's the BCS version. The BMATH data science program, if you are in this program, you only have access to the computer science courses that you need to graduate. So in some sense, you're limited into how many computer science uh, courses you can take. The main reason for this is simply put a staffing problem, right? We, we have a, a lot of interest in our computer science programs, but quite shockingly, a lot of people want to make a lot more money, you know, working in industry than they do working as a university professor. So it is harder to, to staff these courses than it is to staff other math courses, let's say. From the computer science side, um, if you are a computer science, data science student, you do have access to every computer science course that we offer at the University of Waterloo. So it is a little more open in that sense. Um, and statistics, I believe, though don't quote me, uh, they are a little bit more forgiving with who takes their classes. So um, in the one direction, it's a little bit easier to take whatever courses you want. The other direction, you do have to, to plan your courses a little bit more carefully and you're gonna be more limited with your computer science courses. So that's the, uh, the major two differences between the two programs that we have. Thank you so much for talking to me today. I hope that future and current undergraduate students at Waterloo kind of uh, get a better understanding of data science and what all the opportunities they can follow and what they can do with it in the future. And I hope it inspires some future students. No, awesome. That, that's fantastic. Thank you very much, Sophia. Um, it's been a blast talking to you about data science. Um, hopefully that the, uh, the people watching this video uh, can, can check it out at the University of Waterloo. I always joke to, to my friends and colleagues and to students coming that, you know, University of Waterloo is sort of like Disneyland for mathematicians, right? It really is a fantastic place to be to study mathematics. There's lots of fun and exciting buzz all the time. And there's just a lot of great and fantastic people working here. Definitely. So again, thank you very much. And hopefully uh, this video inspires some people to take up data science.